I've got my FT60 with me and I'm going to tell you how to set it up to use for a repeater and I'm not going to go into any depth at all I'm just going to go through the directions without explaining what VFO and memory modes are and without explaining how PL tones operate just a bare bones here's how you set it up and save to memory but before I do that I want to talk about wires and I'm going to show you how you inadvertently turn on wires and how you advertently turn it off. This little dial right here, the zero with that, I'll call it an atom symbol, next to it turns on wires. And if you look, you'll see right here that little atom symbol pops up on the screen. So to turn it back off, push the button, which toggles it on and off. If it's on when you transmit, you will transmit a DTMF tone every time, which aggravates the rest of the people in your event no end. This is what it sounds like when you transmit. You hear the DTMF tone? This is AF6WI with the test. So now I'll turn that off. by pushing the right button and try again. No DTMF tone. This is AFT, AF6WI test out. So if people start complaining to you that you're transmitting a DTMF tone, look in the screen and see if you have that little icon and to toggle it off, press the zero momentarily and turn that sucker off. Thank you. Okay, now that we know how to turn wires off, let's talk about how you use the radio. I have a number of radios and I can't remember how to use them all, so I use cheat sheets. Everybody has a different system, so I won't oppose any other suggestions. I'd be interested in hearing some. I use a photo album that I got at my local drugstore for four, point, uh, for four by six photographs, and then I print my cheat sheet onto four by six index cards and put them in my photo album. This gives me a little protection if I'm in the rain or dusty places so that the papers don't blow away and get rained on and smear. In my cheat sheet I'm very explicit because I may lend the radio to someone who doesn't know how to use it and I explain each knob and dial and talk about the position on the keypad of the various items. The radio for the FT60 is turned on with the center knob that tinkles at you. And you have a keypad and this knob which can control the same areas. So to set it up for a repeater, let's say you found online a reference to a repeater in your area and it tells you 440.500 plus and then 100.0. This information means that your radio should be set to 440.5 to receive the transmissions of the repeater. The repeater transmits on 440.5. The plus means there's an, a positive offset and the repeater listens on a higher frequency. So when you push your press to talk button, you should have that plus sign there. And your, when you look at your LCD screen as you push the, push the talk button, you'll find that your uh, radio is transmitting at a higher frequency. My radio and I, yours is by default set to the, frequent, to the offsets of the national repeater suggestions. Some repeaters in some areas will not follow that, so you need to know to look at the repeater instructions and to look at your radio and make sure your offset is set correctly. To enter the frequency, you need to be in VFO mode. You, this button in the lower left corner is V slash M, and it toggles between uh, VFO and memory. So let's put it in VFO mode 
and number keypad 440-500. And when I hit the last number, it beeps longer. That means I've successfully entered a number. I may not have entered it correctly, so I look at it, 440.500. My radio is set automatically to go to the positive offset. So now I need to enter the 100.00. That's the continuous tone coded squelch system. The repeater will listen for transmissions that have a specific CTCSS set on it. And in this case, the repeater listens for the tone 100.0. So let's turn on the, the tone system. You push the FW key, which is the function key as we're using it now, and then the number one, which tells the squelch, lets you set the squelch type. Most repeaters use tone, and this is tone. You may end up with one with TSQL. If the repeater listens for a tone and transmits with that tone, you need TSQL. If the repeater does not require use a tone when it transmits, all you need is tone. You also have a setting here for reverse tone, which is the opposite of sending a tone. The radio listens for a particular tone, and instead of breaking squelch and letting you hear it, it turns on squelch and doesn't let you hear it. And the final option is DCS, which is a digital coded system and I don't know of any repeaters that use it. The ones in my area use the analog ones, so you set it for tone or TSQL. So I'll set this for tone. Press the push to talk button and that sets the tone on. Now I need to set the frequency of the subaudible tone. Again, the function key and then the number two, which is the actual tone itself. This gives you a, num a series of frequencies up here, so you dial it until you get to 100.0, and then you press the function key again. And now your radio is set to 440.5 plus offset and the correct tone of 100.00. It's very convenient to set that to memory so you don't have to re-enter all that information every time you change your frequency for another repeater. So on the FT60, you press and hold the function key, and you get that double beep. And up here, you have a flashing number, and then a series of dashes down here. And you rotate this dial, and the numbers will go up or down depending on the direction that you rotate and that gives you your memory channel number. So if I set this for memory channel number eight, then I will hold this down and I get the beep and I have now set that whole system into memory channel eight. I hit the V slash M and I'm now in memory and so when I rotate to memory channel eight, I'm set for my repeater, so let's give it a try. This is AF6WI, is anyone monitoring? Okay, that beep is from the repeater, and that tells me I have hit it and that I am hearing it. And no one is answering, so no one's listening to the repeater at this time. AF6WI, out. So the repeater heard it and signaled me back. So I've got it set. It's really easy, it's a piece of cake.